Well, August 29th, I think. 29th. 29th. James and I are out scouting once again. We got a few cameras done yesterday. Late starts, I didn't see any elk, but we got early starts this morning. Well, finally loaded up, got the side-by-side, -side, freezer, way more crap than you could even imagine. Good thing I got a good helper, huh? And taking off early tomorrow morning, uh, set up elk camp. We're going to get rolling. Just got our new toy this year, so that'll be fun. I got a side-by-side -side helmet. Oh, you have a helmet? That's pretty cool. Sorry, I didn't know you were trying to show him something. Pretty cool. But yeah, we are loaded down. Got groceries for days. All the things, all the necessities. We'll get camp all set up tomorrow. And we'll be hunting in two days. So it's going to be good. You want to close it out, Ridge? What do you got to say? We're going to shoot some big elk? Uh-huh, you're going to shoot 20. 20 big elk? And put it in the back of the side by side. I think we only need the next two months. We need to shoot right around 14, I believe. So 14. 20 might be a problem. <laughs> but how's 14 sound? That good? Yeah. All right. Better. All right. Better we'll take it. <laughs> but it'll be a fun week. Follow along with us. We'll have numerous video series throughout this whole deal. So. Stay tuned, and it's going to be an epic, wild ride. Season 6 is upon us. Let's do this. You want to smack it and close it out? One more time. Here we both just sat here in silence because we didn't know what to say. Well, we're off. I got everything, more crap than you can imagine. Don't forget that toilet paper. And we'll be hunting before you know it, so stay tuned. Season 6 is going to be epic. We hopped in James' truck this morning. We're going to go do a little quick scouting mission. We just left all the crap in my truck. We'll deal with that later. But Bill's coming today. Chris is coming tomorrow. And we are going to kill some elk, hopefully. We're going to have some fun. You ready for this? I am really ready. The grind begins. Hopefully we see something today. Yesterday we struggled, so today's a new day.
start to the morning. I heard of a, probably about a hundred with a nice six in there. Just a pretty perfect six point. And hopefully we can find some more. Well, it is now the evening. Bill showed up today. James and I ran around and did some camera chores. Nothing too exciting happened midday, so glass the rest of the evening and see what we see. Good morning guys. It is elk season eve, as Jeremy would say. Opening day tomorrow. And we got one big scouting push left in us before we're chasing screamers. James and Bill headed one way. I'm gonna go back. Same area I was last night. Just trying to kind of pinpoint this herd. There's a good herd in there and they're active, they're talkative. But one of the bulls that I saw last night, I saw two miles away a few nights ago. So I'm not really sure if they actually moved in there for good or if they're just cruising or if it's a different herd. All I know is there's elk there and they're bugling. So uh, I guess that's probably all I need to know. But I'm gonna go see if anything new showed up today, see what it looks like, and then maybe head down to another spot do some midday camera checks and then Chris will be rolling in this afternoon and we'll go scouting again tonight. So it's getting real. A couple little outcast rag horns across the road. Makes me think the herd's probably not too far away. I just saw a herd up here. Not sure if I'll get another look at them. They kind of worked into the trees, but get up here a little higher and see if I can glass them. I found the island bull. He stood. So for those of you that don't know, my uncle hit that bull two years ago and we weren't able to find him. Aspen stand and there's a pond by it. Same place I came last night that I was going to try to get a camera, but I'm not going in there right now, that's for sure. Sweet. 
that's what we wanted to find right there. Now hopefully we can just stay on him. He's a long ways from home right now. So we'll see. He uh, was hanging out probably four miles from here. But I saw one of the bulls that I saw in that area last night. And I had like a hunch that maybe he would be over here, but I never thought I'd actually find him. Sure enough, and then he went skylined and I got like the coolest video of him ever, so. If I never see him again, at least we had another moment. But onward, go try to maybe bed them and maybe try to go put eyes on something else. Well, I was driving out where I thought they went. Apparently they kept going. I'm not sure why, because they really weren't spooked, but they ended up in a different meadow. And I came around the corner and the whole herd was down in the meadow and the sun was absolutely brutal. So I couldn't get any video, but it was him uh, and the whole herd. Might be a chance I might be able to see him from up here, but I mostly just want to see where they go. I keep tabs on them for one more evening so I know where to go in the morning. Because uh, my original game plan, based on where they're headed now, is kind of out the window. Well, we are out scouting. Chris showed up today. You ready for this, dude? I'm ready, bud. We're going to check out an area I've been trying to come to the last couple days and never quite made it here. So, glass this and then see if we can go turn back up that big bull from this morning before dark. Hopefully I'm your good luck charm, actually. Let's hope for any good luck charm. <laughs> we'll take anything we can. It's hot, 90 some degrees. It's gonna, well, it's only 80 now, but it's gonna be night, close to knocking on 90s the next couple days. So it will be hot, but it'll keep them moving to water and hopefully we can put an arrow in a big boy. Let's go find something. Well, we just tossed a camera up. We're going to get back to the truck and go try to find that big bull before dark. Saw a few elk. Didn't bring video camera with me, so you didn't get to see them, but you're just going to have to believe us. You got my back, right? That's right. <laughs> but hopefully he shows tonight. We kill him tomorrow. spotted a nice bull but we just got bits and pieces of him and I never could positively say it was him or not but I know it was a nice bull and it they came from basically the exact same direction that I left him this morning so hopefully they're right around here somewhere in the morning and we'll get on them and give her hell it's here buddy opening here. day the day that You've been waiting for it for a while. <laughs> yeah, 16 long years. Yep, that's right. Hopefully we can turn something up this morning. We watched a couple elk last night come off that ridge where the big bull went yesterday morning. We don't know if he was with them. We never saw him, but hopefully they'll be screaming this morning and we'll just try to cut them off and get them to play. He had 60 cows yesterday, so makes it pretty tricky, but you up for the challenge? I'm up for it. I Straight love it. arrows. Yep. <laughs> He's got his lucky arrow that his son Ridge drew all over the fletching, and that's the one that's gonna connect. That's right. Well, this is how our morning's going. And uh, there's no bugles right here, otherwise we would just say screw it and worry about it later. But not sure if my battery went bad starter went out something but she's dead and we're way back in here and it's early and it's labor day weekend so we're gonna have to try to find a store that's open and maybe gamble on a battery and pray that that's all it is or maybe just bring both a starter and a battery just to be safe if we can get our hands on them but hopefully uh 
our luck will change. Or just use the bad luck first and then it leads to good luck, right? That's right. We'll have good luck. Yeah. Shit. It is what it is, I guess. Well, we're waiting for phone calls back and we just glassed up a few bulls, so I guess uh, that's a good sign. There's like a big bachelor group of them, which is good and bad. Yeah, that one's not as big. Five point. We called in help. We think it might just be the battery, so hopefully uh, we'll just get that taken care of at some point today. But we decided we're gonna try to make the most of what's left of our morning. There is a really good bedding area up here. We didn't hear any bugles this morning, but maybe we can go in there and fire a big old bull that's not rotten yet up or something. You never know, worth a shot. Papa something good happened. Smacks showed up to hopefully save the day. I mean, either way, we'll be able to get out of here now. So whether my truck comes with us or not is to be determined. Thanks for coming, Pops. You bet. Sunday morning, you know, just listen to church on the way out. <laughs> I got you out of church. Closer to God at this height anyhow. So. All right, let's roll. Well, we slapped a battery in my truck and it didn't fix the problem. So I ordered a starter and my dad's gonna go pick it up and bring it back to the cabin. We're gonna go move some cameras around and see if we can catch any late morning bugles. But we're gonna hop in Chris's truck and head out there. But a little unexpected bump in the road, but it'll be all right. We are back. If it wasn't so dusty, we would have just transferred to the side-by-side -side and left my truck here for like a week while we all come in. But it's so bad that it's so dry. It's crazy, but we're gonna go get prepared, clean up a bit, spray down super good. And I think we're gonna go sit on a pond that had three bulls at it this morning. There was some elk on another camera nearby there, so there's some action going on at least and i think since we missed a morning trying to stay on the big bull we just need a little change of scenery and then tomorrow morning we can always try to find him again but for now we're gonna get out of here well we changed our plans and we were gonna go to a pond but there's elk screaming in this big valley so we're just gonna go kill one there instead of walking all the way to the pond, don't you think? Yeah, let's Pretty, get it over with. Yeah. After the day we've had, we're due for a little luck here. So let's go find them.
coming right here. Oh my god. I thought he was. I know he was. He was coming, coming, and he just walked away. <laughs> Scare him away this time. We might kill him. It's too weird to sound. We can't do
arrived at our destination. I think we're going to set up in the shade up here and build a little blind. Hopefully they come to the party. He's coming. He's coming. I like it. Go get set up and get comfy for a while. We got the blind built. Nice little mound right here that we used. And it should be good. The pond's right there. 40 yards. Big bull killers right there. Yeah. Well, we are three hours in. I just woke up from a nap a little bit ago. The beef cows came and got a drink. And now it's Paul's turn. And in case you're wondering, the bull that we had last night called in, his name is Paul. And we're gonna try to become his pallbearers tonight, so hopefully he comes in to that pond. And Chris is gonna wreck him.
it's noon. Cows are not happy that their boyfriend's not coming with them. Not very often do you get to watch elk die in sight, buddy. He's hurting bad. We left the truck at noon. We got the blind set up. We're set, set up at one. It is 7.23. This bull finally started talking. They were a long ways away. I just bugled a couple times at him. I don't know if it had anything to do with it. I think they were coming here either way and they ran in. And Chris made an absolute beauty of a shot. 40 yard shot, backside of the pond. And he's down right there, taking his last few kicks. Should have been both lungs, back of both lungs maybe, back of both lungs maybe liver on that one side. It was money. He's a beauty dude. I love how those meat beams do sound. His back, his back left really drops. The big old tail. Chris smoked that bowl that keep in the pond. And I think it was like uh, the front lung and the liver, maybe the back of the other lung. And he was toast, but we couldn't get out of there without spooking him because he was literally right next to the pond. He stood up and then he bedded back down broadside and Chris snuck into 40 yards right before last light, put another arrow in him. We think it might've hit the shoulder there was pretty good blood on it. Uh, it looked like it might have popped that shoulder, which if it did, he's already dead. And if it didn't, he's gonna bleed out probably in the next hour or so. so. Jeremy's in or out. We're gonna wait till he gets here, probably just give him a little extra time. It's not cooling off real good tonight, so we'll get him taken care of and in the freezer by midnight, hopefully. I don't even care what time it is, it don't matter. <laughs> Traditions can't be broken. Kill beers, we're very confident he's definitely dying. We just have to find him, so. We're jumping the gun a little bit, but not really, because he's smoked, so. He's dead. He's dead. Congrats, man. Thank you, it appreciate fun. it, it was yeah. a blast. It was really fun. Jeremy's bringing the side-by-side -side out. We're gonna get as close as we can with that and then we'll carry everything down to the side-by-side. -side. So, shouldn't be too bad. It's gonna be warm tonight, so we don't dare leave him overnight. We're just gonna give him a little time. I don't think it'll take super long. It's for sure a lung and liver, maybe both lungs, but if it's the second lung, it might've just grazed it, hard saying. But the second arrow was uh, shoulder, but it popped through there pretty good, so. He took out of there pretty good, but he was hurt bad. I'm guessing he'll be two, three hundred yards away. Yep. Maybe even died on the run. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah. Dead. But we'll touch base when we get back out there. Well, we're back. It has been about two and a half to three hours from the time of the shot. So hopefully he didn't go too far. Go put our hands on him. 
and we're going to get his arrow back out of the pond because Chris's son Ridge drew on the fletching. It was clearly good luck, so you can't leave that behind. Got it. Oh, yes. That is awesome. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Okay. He drew all over it. That's bad. Yeah, he yeah. said it was a tree, right? Look at this. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a little bloodier now. <laughs> so we're... Sweet. That's awesome. Should we get on the blood trail? Let's get it. All right. He'll do, huh? He's a little bigger than I thought he was, too. <laughs> Great bull, man. Man, look at that character. Yeah. He didn't go far. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Good job, man. There you go. There's Ridge's arrow. That's awesome, man. Hell Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks, man. Now the worst. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Thanks for help. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to do my Thanks, camera. Yeah. <laughs>